Hello, um, welcome back to our down payment series. My name is Pamela Spivey with the Spivey Daniel Real Estate Group. And today I'm here with Elisa Flores with Wells Fargo. And today we have three down payment programs we'll be discussing. This is an amazing. Um, the main, most important one is the Black Wealth Initiative. That's the one that just right off, it just literally has been presented and available. So Elisa, you wanna go ahead and tell us a little bit more about the program? Yeah, yeah, there's actually three programs that I wanted to discuss with you today, but we'll go ahead and start with the, the Black Wealth Initiative program. Um, it's brand, brand new, so I don't have all of the details quite yet, but I would imagine that there's probably limits as far as like income or location of the property. I do know that it is a $10,000 down payment assistance, but we're going to have to revisit this one at a later time because I just don't have all of the details about it quite yet. Um, the other program that I wanted to talk about, which you guys may have already heard of, is the Community Lift Program. Um, can you guys see the Community Lift Program screen, or do I have to switch it again? You have to switch it again. Okay, let me go ahead and switch it. Okay, can you see the Lyft yeah. website now? Yep, yep. Okay, so um, the Lyft program is basically a $25,000 grant. It is forgivable after five years. So each year you get forgiven 20% of the grant that was given to you. Um, depending on where you're looking at purchasing, that's going to dictate how much your income limit is going to be. So let me pull up the income limits here. Is Lyft only for Wells Fargo? Or now, Lyft, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to just get the right sheet up here. Okay, can you see where it says San Francisco Bay Area? Or are yep. you still seeing a different? I see count, uh, different, different counties. Okay, perfect. Okay. So um, Lyft, the funds are coming from Wells Fargo as far as who is providing the funds, but there are several lenders that can offer it. Okay. Um, I think there's probably a list. I want to say if there's about 10 different lenders that can offer it. Um, but what it is, is again, it's $25,000. Um, depending on where you're looking at purchasing, you can see the income limits here. And so essentially to um, get these funds, because there are a limited amount of funds, they're not, they're not um, indefinite. So essentially what you're going to do is you need to get pre-approved with one of the approved lenders. Um, and then you also need to take a home buyer's course, a first time home buyer's course. So from the Lyft website, they do give you a list of first time home buyer courses that are available. You can do some in person, you could do some online, and they're available in multiple different languages. Um, but again, it's $25,000. And after you are you do the first time home buyers class and you get pre-approved, then you register with the funds for with CHDC and you have to provide them proof that you've taken the online course and that you have your pre-approval. And then they will give you a registration and you have then 90 days to find a property. So um, you know, it's a great program. A lot of clients have been using it, but again, it's the the funds are not indefinite. So it is something that you're going to have to want to jump on if it's something that you really want. Um, the third program I wanted to talk to you guys about just quickly is something that's brand new with, um, with Cal Hafa. And Cal Hafa has this 10% equity builder program. I'm trying to see if I can get it here up on my screen. Okay. Uh, okay, do you yep. see the Cal Hafa page now? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So the Forgivable Equity Builder Program is something that's been really, really popular for me and my clients um, over the last few months because it's a 10% down, down payment assistance program. So if you're purchasing for $500,000, you could eventually, or essentially you could get up to $50,000 as long as you qualify for this. And so with the CalHAFA program, there are limits on that income as well. Let me pull that up. So, so far, we're talking about three different programs that will be combined together based on how you're you can. Yes, you can combine all three of them if you're able to. Right. right. So are you able to see the Cal Hafa? Yes. Here? Yes. OK, so this is the income level that's required for um, for specifically for this 10 percent down. So there are other Cal Hafa programs where the income limits are higher, but this particular one um, say if you're in Alameda County, that's 120,000. 
um, Contra Costa 120,000, Sacramento is 81,000. Um, San Joaquin is a little bit harder to qualify for because mm -hmm. the limit is 68,000. But just depending on where it is you're looking at purchasing, these are going to be your limits as far as income is concerned. So essentially, this is 10% down. Again, the same thing, very similar to Lyft, where it's forgiven um, a certain percentage, 20% every year for the first five years. So you do have to live in the property as well. So this goes really well with the Lyft program because they're very, very similar as far as their qualifications. The income is a little bit different, so we have to double check both of those things. Um, but both of these programs can be used together. In fact, all three of these programs can be used together. And what about, so you want to talk about the community housing development program as far as how they all interact with these programs? Um, well, the CHDC, they're kind of like in charge of um, distributing the lift funds and distributing the funds from the um, Black Wealth Initiative. So essentially, they're a nonprofit where they get funds from various different organizations, and then they're in charge of distributing and making sure that they're given out evenly and there's no biases and whatnot for, right. for the most part. Of course, the Black Initiative one is specifically for African Americans, but the lift program is, is for everybody who can qualify. Okay. And do you have like an example of maybe like a success story that you're, you know, that you worked on recently or working on right now? Yeah, yeah. I actually have a client right now that's pre-approved. She hasn't found a property yet, um, but this particular client is pre-approved for 600000 She's looking at Contra Costa and she is using um, the Lyft, the CalHafa and the Black Wealth Initiative program. So between the three, she's getting nearly 95,000 for a down payment. In addition to she can add her own funds as well if she would like. So it's just a great opportunity for people to try to get into the housing market that previously maybe didn't have the funds to be able to do so. Yeah, and now, I mean, this is like this is like a, a window for people, first time home buyers that are, that are using down payment programs. This is like a window where, the sellers will be a little more flexible. <laughs> They'll be okay with yeah, um, if you're absolutely. The it, yeah, it's definitely a window of opportunity because the sellers are they aren't aren't afforded the luxury of having you know fifteen offers on their properties and they can't mm -hmm. you know just turn around turn away anything that has down payment assistance. So I I definitely do see it as an area of opportunity for people who have had um, barriers to being able to get into the first time home buyers market. Wow. Well. Um, Lalisa, thank you for sharing this information. We're just doing a quick little overview just to let you know if you are a first time home buyer that there are uh, multiple down payment programs that are available. Lisa just shared um, a, you know, a client right now that's using over $90,000, you know, that she'll be able to utilize to help with her down payment. Um, so, you know, give us a call, <laughs> you know, if you need more information, this is amazing. I just wanted to share that with you and thank you for um, tuning in. Thank you. Thank Lisa. you. Bye-bye.